if I did cut it out, welcome. I already did the uh, I already did the intros, but we kind of messed up with the old screen selection. It's what I, it's it's the issue that you're doing on your own, so you're always going to be coming into some some sort of issue. You forget to do something, but I appreciate you stopping by, whether you be on Twitch or on YouTube. The score is on is currently two o wham and um, puppy paw. It's right up top. I don't have the command in there cause, just because it's right on the, the top end side. But I should probably honestly put the command in. But I don't have enough mods, honestly. Cat cat. I'm sure your name is just cat, but I'm gonna call you cat cat. <laughs> now we have the China and the China variant Zushi. So we're gonna be seeing probably. Let's see. I mean, two TC song is usually the go-to. They have new uh, nerfed the Zuganu all in, so we might not be seeing that um, just yet. And there we go, already getting that early stone. So we're gonna be seeing an early expand out of Anta and Zushi, and we're gonna be seeing no stone just yet coming in for Magic. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see it quite soon. Across the way, we have an early. Early military wings, we're getting those early um, camel raiders on the map. And then over here we have the council hall. I mean, not really surprising. Sometimes you see the Abbey of the Kings, but only the Abbey of the Kings in a heavy cav matchup. Um, no early knights uh, in this one that they have to worry about, so there's really no point in getting that early king on the map. Because you're not going to be seeing too much harassment out of the Chinese or Zugnu. Now we do see a meditation gardens going thrown right down in the middle. So this is signifying to me that either A, um, I'm assuming this is going to be an early cast age, right? Like this has to be. There's also only one person on it. So this could be taken down by this scout. Nope, now there's, now there's two. I mean, I am not a high level 2v2 player. I have watched a fair amount though. I have never seen a meditation gardens thrown down in the middle like this. I've seen it thrown in the backhand side to collect a lot of a lot of goodies, but I've never seen it just go, you know what? Screw it. Let's just throw it down right down the middle. I have to wait and see how much value of gold this will get. Um, but it is the best place to stick it. If we're going to be honest, actually, could you put it right here? I feel like that could have been better, but maybe he just didn't see it. Um, with his scout, the perfect spot is just one up. They did. They were going to send one more villager down there, but they decided not to. So, I mean, this is a quite a bold strategy. Wham is now up. There we go. The camel raider is out. And that's going to be beelining right for this meditation garden. Meditation garden gets popped up. And now we're going to be just... It's going to be hanging out there. Right? It has 5,000 health, 25 gold per minute. Not nearly as much as I thought it would be. And I don't know if it's worth it to stick it all the way out there at 50. There we go. It's now... It's kind of... It's like calibrating almost. Uh, waiting on that front. We can see the Barbican of the Sun is going up as well on this gold vein over here. We still have no stone collected on this side. But we do have enough for a TC from Anatan. And now... Puppy Pot is aware of this, of course. Um, oh, they're going to be moving out. Dropping this TC. Dropping the TC. There it is. Right on the berry. So feeling good about that. We do have the Desert Raider. is getting some nice chip damage over here. That is a lot of those sheep. Um, and going to be moving out over here. The sheep are going to be... Unfortunately for that, the Imperial Officials are going to be moving out. And now the sheep cannot be moved at all. And... Unfortunately, there's going to be more and more chip damage on these villagers. So this one camel raider is doing a great job at harassment. We do see some longbowmen coming in. The spam is coming in, and it's coming in quickly. China is always going to be susceptible to these early rushes if you can do it well. And this is kind of a... I mean, they're just kind of chilling. Let's go check out the wait and see. 100 per minute. It's going to be a quick castle age if you can get up there. So the good news for Anatan is that this gold vein would be the target practice for these English longbowmen, but instead he doesn't need anyone on gold with the Imperial officials getting that um, that taxation without representation going on. And then we also have the meditation gardens right down the middle. So feeling good about gold for Anatan is, you can see, already three, 200 per minute and no one's on it. That is insane. Some nice value there. It's a bold strategy though because of course this can go down quite easily. One ram and this thing is cooked. Oh no, they do, actually, they don't get, they are going to get one villager go down, and now it's going to be another villager is dead as well. 
So Wham does get some nice value with these six, um, these six over here, but they tried to put this into place so that that way they can't actually harass this berry taking because he does need food pretty desperately. He does have a few sheep, but not nearly enough to sustain himself because he uses meditation gardens to get only gold. So a nice investment there from this tower and we're gonna be seeing the um, hand cans that's going down. So that means they cannot get in range over here. Look at this, they're just, they're just hanging out, starting a little campfire, just chilling over here. And it looks like we are gonna be seeing enough stone to be taken. So Magic's gonna be throwing down a second TC as well. So both, both the variant and the OG are going for the same build, double TCs. I will say they're gonna have to pull this one back. It's getting a lot of chip damage going down. Where's it gonna be going? It's going to be going right there. Desert Raider just found it. it. Looks like it's gonna be trying to cut it off and it does not, but this should be enough. We do have some long bowmen coming in, but it should be able to get up just in time. There we go. They hop in. These English long bowmen will be taken down quite quickly. There is the scout going down. They are running for the hills at this point. They're trying their best. Run back towards the TC. Oh no. And this scout comes in for even more damage. They got the butter knives out. They go, you know what? I'm so sick of this damn camel. They try to take it into their own hands and more and more go down. But that was a nice play there. But again, both Chinese, uh, both the Chinese and the uh, Zushi, they're feeling pretty okay. You know, you're gonna lose some villagers in your if you go for the expansion, but Wham is already cast Lage, and that means he's gonna have a second TC as well. Where'd he drop it? Where is his... Oh, sorry, Wham's over here. So he went for the Eco Wing, so he's gonna be feeling pretty good about that. For a second, I thought Wham was in the red. Uh, Wham was in the English, but because he was red all the last three games, so he decided to switch up the colors on me, drive me nuts. But the English have not gone up just yet, so that we have to wait for us to see on that front. There is a whole bunch of English longbow, but that is a whole bunch of towers. Does not want that smoke over there. That is to protect this boar carcass. 2,000 food in the bank for Anatan. These are a lot of idle, a lot of idle villagers though. There they go. They go back. We have to drop an actual outpost that would actually take this down. They're trying to take this down. Another villager will be going down though. Wham is finding a lot of nice value and there we go. More are coming in, but remember this expansion only has seven in it. So more and more going down, but I mean, it does take a decent amount of villagers um, out with it. So a nice trade there for Wham. You'll be taking that all day long. You wanna keep these idle and keep these um, down as best you possibly can. The more trades you can make, the better, because remember, if they, if both China, um, both China and the Zushi Legacy just get to scale into the late game, it's gonna be a really, really rough one once those palace guards start coming out and they start sprinting towards you at full speed. The double um, tower over here is protecting this boar the best it possibly can. There are now camel lancers on the field, so you're gonna be needing something more than just those towers to actually deal some damage. These can, these things can tank for days. Remember, China does have. Um, the cannonballs that get fired out, so they do pack a little bit of extra of a punch. Wham is now officially into Castle Age, and that means, uh, sorry, Anatan is now into Castle Age as well. You can see that the Shaolin Monster is the selection, so we're getting those Shaolin Monks to collect all the relics it possibly can. But Wham, has, uh, Puppy Paw has actually um, walled off pretty well over here, so they're gonna be feeling pretty good about this entire situation. Uh, even the relic over here, so there's only one two, three relics that are gonna be very easy to select. And this one's gonna to be tough to get in the first place because there's gonna be camel answers all over this. And here comes the ram. We knew it was gonna be coming. Wham's going for an all in, or Puppy Paw's going for an all in with the English and the Ayubit's just gonna go for the straight kind of fast castle all in that we'd like to see all the time. And those camel answers can tank all this for days. I will say though, they do have the ability to shoot those cannonballs, so they can deal with it a little bit better than other civilizations, but that boar is gonna have to be given up, and a lot of resources went into that, and only 200, roughly 200 food was taken, 150 tops. Shallon Monk has been spotted out by the Camel Lancer, so it's gonna be taken down quite quickly. We see the Lancers are out in the field here for Zushi, but not nearly enough. As you can see, there's so many Camel Lancers already coming into play for that. And they're gonna have to take down this eventually, right? They're gonna have to just, one ram, if this ram can just come over here and just take this down, that would be in its best interest. But there's not allowing any sort of relics to be taken from, um, from this, which is really, really rough. 
And there we go, more Rams coming in. So, I mean, they're not gonna let them get to late game. Which, if this, so it looks like they're going, they decided to not play the late game um, battle. We do see another TC going down behind this, which is the crazy part about these pushes, right? They not only um, have this much uh, aggression, they also have on the back end side, they can also um, expand behind it. This is a pretty crazy tower setup, I will say. And now we also have more and more Lancers coming in on the top end side. One will be going down. Nope, not just in time. But now we have the Lancers coming in. They should be able to defend this at least enough with the help of the TCs and the towers. The more interesting part of the selection over here is going to be this. And there we go. They, I don't think they take down these Rams though. I think it's going to go down. Because this Ram positioning and these Longbowmen are just too, too good. Um, and these towers are not actually in range of the longbow of these rams, so it's actually unfortunate positioning placement from this tower. Camelancers are now getting into the the meat of the economy over here, and it's looking rough. We do have one Camelancer that was able to defend the raid over here, but this English is just too good. Look at this, they can, they're can they now at a critical mass where they can just one-shot even the Lancers, and all of this expansion is going down. Magic is feeling... It's feeling kind of tough, honestly. There's nothing they can really do about this. I mean, you knew what was coming. You knew it was going to be a fast castle into Camelancers. And another surrender. That is a quick 3-0 so far. One more game, and that is all she wrote on this matchup.